Uh, I think that uh, we play very well. Um, we had a good possession ball. Um, we play one touch. Um, we find each other in the field, so I think that uh, was important. Maybe uh, in the first half uh, we can close the match before because we had the goal to to score another goal. But so we can't uh, be perfect now because uh, would be that uh, we have to improve. If, if for sure, is in this in this moment we are not on the top uh, in our physical preparation, but I think that uh, we I s I saw good very good movement. Questions? You talked about needing to improve specifically, like in what area? Uh, Sometimes. Uh, in uh, the situation no possession ball when the ball is in cover we have to be more ready to to cover better the field and um, sometime also when when we want the ball when we take the ball we have to be able to choose uh, other other movement uh, um, and sometimes we are too nervous uh, we are we have to slow down, we have to, to use more the brain. Mm, the, the, the soccer is uh, more about the brain than uh, the body. So maybe this is the, the, the only sport uh, where we use the feet, so we have to use uh, more the brain than other sports. Vijay, yes? Coach, there was a lot of, um, for both, uh, there was a lot of one-touch passing, a lot of decoys, which is good to see. I haven't seen that much of that in the past. Uh, Christine, did you find it refreshing that uh, the ball seemed to come to you a lot rather than you having to go get it yourself for a change? Yeah, uh, just the way we played tonight, um, there was a lot of movement off the ball, and that always helps. Um, I thought our midfielders did a great job getting forward, and as a, as a striker, that it's nice because they're always available for the pass or running behind. Um, you know. I think of one time specifically where Dee made the running behind and I was able to just to dummy it and she got on the end of it. Um, that's something we didn't have before. If she had a, she had a strong game, how would, how would you... What, is her role more of an offensive role in the midfield than not the same? Well, she can play in um, central midfielder because she has a good vision, but she can play also internal midfielder because she has the time to, to go to the net and she scored a lot of goals for us and uh, she play in uh, this position so uh, for us it's, it's good that she starts from there because she can create a surprise. Christina, your goal, two wonderful quick passes to set it up, is that something you guys practice or was that spontaneous just created on the moment? Well, I mean obviously that's something we work on in practice but I mean maybe not that specific, you know, yeah. you know, things happen in the game, but just the ideas are there that I don't think we've had in the past and and the composure on the ball and, you know, Car and Jose made some great passes and Jose found me in behind, so. Were you surprised to see the ball come to you that quickly? It was just, it was it was going one way and then it was on your No, boot. no, I mean, we have some very talented soccer players and, you know, it's, for me, it's about getting in the right position and they'll find me. It's not so simple. Cioè dire che non è così semplice come lei la racconta essere sul al posto giusto, eh. It's not so simple to be in the perfect place in the perfect moment. So it's just uh, it's, it's just the champion can do this. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have picked up some speed, uh, Christine. Like you, uh, you seem to not that you were slow before, but you seem to have a little bit of extra pace. <laughs> uh, what do you attribute that to? <laughs> She's quick as a machine. Can you talk about that? What's uh, how Caroline is kind of? No, it's, she's brought a completely different method of training, and we work a lot on explosiveness and, and speed work. And you know, me personally, it's been a two-year journey with that, and I think it's paying off. Yeah, um, hi. Um, China was a difficult team to 
to, to have in front, uh, where was the key of the match? In which moment do you think that uh, you could have the game in hand? Because the high pressure that we did was uh, very, very good. And uh, we, don't, we didn't allow them to, to go over the... the meta campo, the, the line of uh, the midfield. Okay. So they, we, we will, uh, uh, we, we were able to close all space for them because they did well in um, the three forward, they moved very well. The two internal midfielder followed them, but also when the ball, uh, when arrived the long ball, uh, uh, our central back was able to anticipate uh, the opponent, so. Christine, uh, having played China now on their home turf and having them come over here, is there any type of relationship that you've built with the players? Are you able to communicate with them out there? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no, and, and I actually think there's a lot of different players from when we played them in China. Um, they have a new coach, and so I didn't really recognize too many of them, but maybe they got their hair cut. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought in particular that Kyle was all over the field playing very well in, in the middle. Can I have your comment? Kyle. Well, Oh, yeah. um, she's a talented player and uh, I think that uh, she needed to have our support when at the beginning of the match uh, I say to her enjoy to play don't be scared if you will make mistakes because you are young you have to make mistakes and she's technically she's uh, she's very very good and um, also in the defensive phases, uh, she she has the right timing to go to the ball, and uh, she win she won a lot of ball today. Thank you. I thought Emily looked pretty strong in the center of defense too. Going forward, do you see her kind of holding that position like a regular starter for Canada? Or? I think that uh, this is her position. So uh, people like her with. Um, her uh, skill has to, to play there. For the, the she is a tall and uh, she has to improve the possession ball because she can do it. She is very young. And uh, her physical quality is to play there. She has to so it's not easy to play there for a young player but mm, she improve uh, game by game. Coach, after the uh, after Karina gave up the that first goal, did the team respond immediately after that goal the way you would have liked, or did you find that uh, um, that they could have maybe responded to it better in the moments right after the goal? Because it was a goal that was they shouldn't have allowed. I think that uh, maybe is more for her. I think that the, the question because I I saw that uh, they understood that it was just uh, fluke. Yeah, exactly. because. If the, the first half uh, would finish uh, to nothing, was normal for us. And as a player, like <coughs> we know how hard it is for Trina. Um, you know, a goal like that goes in, and it gets talked about, but we don't talk about the chances that we missed in front of their goal. You know, so it, we understand that it was hard, and it's hard job to figure out. Did you find that the way you guys responded was maybe was different than maybe during the, during Evans there? Um, I don't know. It's just a, a like an attitude thing, you know. With it with it so late in the half, we only had to cope for a couple minutes, so you didn't really. He was like, "All right, we we'll get one." Uh, which team would you like to play next that you think would test to where Canada is at? Unfortunately, we don't. Uh, we we cannot play another game. Unfortunately, because for us it would be very important to play in October before the qualification. Qualifications open October twenty eighth. Carly, are you happy with the way the team has performed for you since you've taken over? And you had a big job. The system, the style of play, was very difficult for you to, to grab a handle on. Is this team? 
where it should be or where you your hope it would be going into this qualifying? I think that uh, the team did very well. Of course, for us, uh, we need to play more. Uh, in uh, the last uh, media conference, I say that uh, to prepare this qualification, we play just uh, 15 games. And uh, it's not enough, of course. I think that uh, the team improved a, a lot. But if we would play 10, 10 games more, maybe at this point we we would be in higher position. For example, I try to, for now we, we are able to play 4-4-2 and 4-3-3, but I think that the national team, uh, a good national team has to be able to play also in uh, with other system. Because sometimes you have uh, three good players in front, sometimes you have three good um, offensive midfielder and you have to be I have to be able to change but if you don't have a time to and and they answer very well when I change from four four two to four three three so mean that uh, if I change again they are ready to do it but I need time to, to prove the player to try the player. Yeah. With free substitution, was it your intention to uh, to get a look at uh, a lot of the players? Because you had a number of substitutions in the second half. Allora, when uh, when you coach one team and uh, these teams um, stayed together since uh, 25 uh, um, August, you have to. To, to give something also to the other players. And uh, as a coach, uh, it's my responsible that all players grow in the same time, and uh, they have to be, also they have to be gratified. And uh, because we need all players. I can say, okay, I play with this uh, 11 player or uh, 15 player. Is, is, is important also to manage the player and to respect the player, to respect uh, their sacrifice, their, uh, um, their application, their effort. So. The Thank last you. question? Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah, no, it's Robin. Um, well, Christine, you've had a great week because we, some of us saw you on TV with the gold pride there. And so I don't know if there's anything comparable about playing in that game and this game. And also, is there any potential that there might be a team in Canada at some time? Or you can't really no say idea. much about that. I have, no. <laughs> I have no idea. That's not up to me. Um, okay. But yeah, it's been a, a good week and a, a good year for me personally. Um, to to win the WPS with FC Gold Pride was very important and I think Candace and I were able to bring that to the national team. You know, I think both of our goals heading into the year, I mean obviously it's nice to win the WPS championship but it was to qualify for the World Cup and everything we did this year was to help this team qualify and you know, it, it always helps to win. Thank you very much. We'll have players now available in the next one.